In this video demonstration, you will learn about the instrumentation used for arthroscopic knot tying, as well as the different types of knots utilized in arthroscopic surgery. Ultimately, the type of knot you use in your cases will be up to you and your attending physician. To demonstrate and learn knot tying, it is ideal to have the following items shown here. A knot pusher, free strands of orthocord suture, a cord cutter, and a knot tying station. The cord cutter is used to cut suture in arthroscopic procedures. Using the slotted distal end of the cutter, place your sutures through the slot, close the jaws of the cutter, zip line down to the knot, and finally pull the trigger to cut the suture above the knot. To slide a knot down onto the tissue, thread the suture through the eyelet of the knot pusher. Slide the knot down to the desired location. When tying arthroscopic knots, always make the post strand of suture one-third the length of your loop strand. Naturally, your loop strand will be two-thirds in length. You will hear this term repeatedly in arthroscopic surgery. Two-third, one-third. To execute a fisherman's knot, throw three overhand loops. Dunk the suture through the thumb hole, as seen here. Slowly dress the knot and pull on the post strand of the suture to slide the suture to the desired location. Although it is not demonstrated here, nor in any of the upcoming demonstrations, it is good practice to throw half hitches with alternating posts to lock your knot. Of course, this is not necessary if you are tying a sliding locking knot, which we will demonstrate later. As always, consult your attending physician to determine techniques needed. Throw three overhand loops. Dunk the suture through the thumb hole, as seen here. Slowly dress the knot and pull on the post strand of the suture to slide the suture to the desired location. Using the cord cutter, Place your sutures through the slotted distal end of the cutter. Close the jaws of the cutter. Zip line down to the knot. And finally, pull the trigger to cut the suture above the knot. After shortening your post strand, throw three overhand loops. Bringing the suture up through the middle proximal to the third loop. Slowly dress the knot and pull on the post strand of the suture to slide the suture to the desired location. Throw three overhand loops. Bringing the suture up through the middle proximal to the third loop. Slowly dress the knot and pull on the post strand of the suture to slide the suture to the desired location. Using the cord cutter, place your sutures through the slotted distal end of the cutter. Close the jaws of the cutter, zip line down to the knot, and finally pull the trigger to cut the suture above the knot.
After shortening your post strand, throw two overhand loops. Bring the suture up through the middle. Distal to the second loop, pass the suture over the left strand. Grab the suture from underneath both limbs and dunk it through the middle or two overhand loops. Slowly dress the knot and pull on the post strand of the suture to slide the suture to the desired location. Once the knot is seated into its desired location, pull on the non-post strand to lock the knot. It is extremely important when tying a sliding locking knot that the loop limb strand, non-post strand of the suture, is never tensioned until the knot is fully seated in the desired location. Pulling the loop strand of the suture prematurely will lock the knot in a non-desired location. Although it is not demonstrated here, nor in any of the upcoming demonstrations, throw two overhand loops. Bring the suture up through the middle, distal to the second loop. Pass the suture over the left strand. Grab the suture from underneath both limbs and dunk it through the middle or two overhand loops. Slowly dress the knot and pull on the post strand of the suture to slide the suture to the desired location. Using the cord cutter, place your sutures through the slotted distal end of the cutter. Close the jaws of the cutter, zip line down to the knot, and finally, pull the trigger to cut the suture above the knot. After shortening your post strand, throw two overhand loops. Bring the suture up through the middle, distal to the second overhand loop. Bring the suture over the right strand. Again, up through the middle, distal to all the work you have done to this point. Bring the suture over the left strand. Bring the suture underneath both strands and dunk the suture through the thumb loop. Slowly dress the knot and pull on the post strand of the suture to slide the suture to the desired location. Throw two overhand loops. Bring the suture up through the middle, distal to the second overhand loop. Bring the suture over the right strand. Again, up through the middle, distal to all the work you have done to this point. Bring the suture over the left strand. Bring the suture underneath both strands and dunk the suture through the thumb loop. Slowly dress the knot and pull on the post strand of the suture to slide the suture to the desired location. Using the cord cutter, place your sutures through the slotted distal end of the cutter. Close the jaws of the cutter, zip line down to the knot, and finally pull the trigger to cut the suture above the knot. After shortening your post strand, Throw three overhand loops. Dunk the suture behind the distal loop. Slowly dress the knot and pull on the post strand of the suture to slide the suture to the desired location. Throw three overhand loops. Dunk the suture behind the distal loop. Slowly dress the knot 
and pull on the post strand of the suture to slide the suture to the desired location. Using the cord cutter, place your sutures through the slotted distal end of the cutter. Close the jaws of the cutter, zip line down to the knot, and finally pull the trigger to cut the suture above the knot.